Hi everyone, it's Christy, and today I am back with a tack haul. So it is currently January uh, of 2018. Um, I know it's the new year. I know last year was kind of a shabby year in terms of my YouTube content because I just wasn't in a very good place last year. So I'm trying my best to start off 2018 in a good place. Um, I want to really revamp my channel this year. Um, I want to upload a lot more content for you guys and just become a better YouTuber overall, be more consistent in my uploading. So today I want to share with you a kind of Christmas tech haul slash November and December tech haul because a lot of these items I bought for myself. Um, only two of them are actually Christmas presents. Um, the rest of this stuff I paid for with my own money. So I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. And um, before I do, I just want to say um, I'm sorry about my hair. I have naturally wavy hair and it's been so cold in New Jersey the last week or two that my hair is just not holding curls. So it's just kind of doing its own thing. It's a little bit wacky. Um, second thing, I'm really, really pale because... I haven't really been going outside very much because it's so cold. Anyway, let's just get into the good stuff. So I'll start off with the two items that were actually Christmas presents. So my brother got me um, a new pair of paddock boots. Now, he did not actually go to the store and pick these out. I went to the store and picked them out, and he gave me money for them. So I desperately need new paddock boots because my other ones, my black boots, are five years old, and... They're still in good shape, but they're you can kind of tell that they're getting old. So I wanted to get brown boots. Um, so I got these. These are area paddock boots. These are actually men's. Um, so I have to take them back and exchange them for women's boots because they didn't have my size in the women's boots on the day that I went to Horseman's. Um, but they're just brown area paddock boots. Nothing too exciting. Um... And to go along with them, I purchased a pair of um, area half chaps. These are the same half chaps I have, just in brown. Um, and my mom paid, got these for me for Christmas. Um, so I'll take them out to show you. So they just look like this. This is the inside of the leg. It's all leather. And then on the outside, you have this nice breathable elastic panel. Um, it keeps your leg from getting too hot and also provides a nice stretch so that you can wear, uh, if in the winter time, you can wear um, under armor, like, you know, long johns or whatever you want to call them under your breeches to keep yourself warm. And they're just a dark chocolate brown. And I'm really excited to go brown with brown boots this year. Um, also from Horseman's Outlet, I bought... Because the day that we went, they were having 20% off, and so I bought myself a new pair of gloves. But just brown gloves to go with my new brown boots. I paid for these. Um, they're my favorite gloves ever. They're Roquel, and they're just brown. You know, nothing exciting. They just look like this. Just brown gloves. I love them. I haven't ridden in them yet because I, ha I sprained my ankle in the beginning of December, and so I haven't ridden in like a month. It's pretty rough, but... Those are my new gloves. Um, and then I just have a few things that I've purchased for myself. Um, first is this Thin Line Sheepskin Half Pad. So I've been doing a lot of research on Oglevy's and I've kind of come to the decision that Oglevy's aren't really the very best saddle pad to use on a horse. So I wanted to purchase a sheepskin pad and I figured why not get the one with the thin line on it. Um, I got this for a really good deal, brand new, off of someone on Facebook. So I was excited about that. I have used it, um, it's dirty, but I started taking lessons at a new barn either in October or November, I can't remember. And <clears throat> I've been using this on the horse that I ride and it seems to work very well. Um, and I really, really like this. My dog is absolutely terrified of it though, because he doesn't like sheepskin. Um, next, 
I'll share with you the two things I purchased on Black Friday. So I've had my eye on both of these items for a very long time and I finally decided to splurge and buy them. First up was this. I'll take it out of the packaging so you can see it better. This is the uh, Black Knight Accessories Writer's Wristlet in navy and brown. Um, the color is not really navy in my opinion. It's much more of a light blue and this is what the back looks like. So it has this snap where you can um, slip your belt through here when you're riding so you can keep your phone on you. And then on the inside it has a little wrist strap and it's just plain on the inside. There's no pockets or anything. But it does have a little zipper compartment on the front so you can put some money in there or your ID or whatever. Um, unfortunately, I was very, very excited for this. Um, it does not fit my phone, which is really depressing because I ordered this from Canada from the Black Knight, their Canadian brand. Uh, this does not fit my phone and I'm not going to pay return shipping to Canada. So if anybody is interested in buying this, um, hit me up. So the phone that I have is the Samsung Galaxy S8 Plus. So if you have a bigger phone, it's not going to fit. But it should fit some of the um, iPhones, like the regular S8, the S7, the iPhone 10 should fit all of those with no problem. Um, the second item that I purchased for myself on Black Friday, I also have not used yet because I haven't ridden because I sprained my ankle, like I said, and they are Millbrook stirrup leathers. Uh, as you can see, it says Previn's Cellier. Um, I got the longest size they have, which is 145 centimeters. Um, they're dark brown, so they don't really match my saddle very well, but that's okay. I really wanted to try these and see how they work. Um, they have the little fancy uh, metal button on the end. Um, these were pretty expensive, um, out, even with the 20% off and uh, the Black Friday sale was 20% off. With shipping, I still paid like $130 for these, which to me is a lot because I paid like 80 bucks for my other syrup leathers. So I really hope these work. If not, I'm going to be selling them on Facebook because these are non-returnable. Also, I'm sorry if there's a bit of an echo. Um, I'm just realizing this now. I'm filming in my living room because my Christmas tree is here and we have um, really high cathedral ceilings in this room so it might be kind of echoey. So I apologize for that. Next item I want to show you. It's something that I've had for a while. Um, I actually filmed a video with this in it, but I never uploaded it, and I'm probably going to end up trashing that footage. Um, so it is a C4 belt, and I got it at Dover Salary, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's got little foxes on it with glasses, and it's the cutest thing ever. So I am obsessed with foxes, because I have a husky whose name is Dallas, and he's kind of... Um, foxy looking but anyway uh, I love this belt it's super cute this was a dreamers and schemers combo pack where it came with the belt and then a matching pair of socks I don't have the socks with me um, I don't really like the socks personally they're very short the quality doesn't seem very great so I would not recommend purchasing from them plus they're very expensive um, so next I have um, these, I went to a tax sale in the beginning of December and uh, someone was selling these for $10, so I bought them. They're just white wolf boots. I already have two pairs of these, but you can never have enough boots. Um, and I love white, so it was a win-win. And they're a size large. They're brand new too. They also came with a pair of medium front boots that were pretty used. So I don't, I, I'm going to be smelling those, I think. I'm not keeping them. Next item um, is another boot item. 
So I've had my eyes on these for a long time and I finally found someone selling them for a really good price. So I snatched them up. These are a brushing boots. They are by, let's see if I can get to focus. PS of Sweden, sorry. I'm using my new phone to film and I'm just trying to get it to focus on the brand and stuff. So they are navy crocodile or snake skin print. I think it's crocodile, but they're patent leather. So they're shiny and I love the color. Um, the fleece on the inside is very, very soft. They're very well made. Um, I'm really excited to use these and I do have the back boots as well. These are the fronts. They're slightly smaller. And then I have the front, the back boots as well. So I'm really excited to have a matching set. Um, so yeah, and the back boots have three straps instead of two. Next uh, is not really a horsey item, but I purchased a GoPro back in June. Um, I filmed a video doing a haul for it, but I never posted it. It's just a simple GoPro Hero session. I think it's the Hero 5 session or something like that. I got, off, got it off of Amazon for like 150 bucks, and I didn't have a case for it, so I wanted to get a case for it, and I've seen that some of the ones that they sell specifically for GoPros are super expensive, and I just wanted something simple. I'm, work, I'm actually working at Best Buy now, in case I haven't told you guys, and so I was able to get this case for, I don't know, like six or seven dollars. It's just a low pro case. It's just a basic hard shell black case and it fits my GoPro perfectly. And this is just the little mount for it that I keep in here as well so I don't lose it. Um, I posted a few videos that I filmed with this GoPro. Um, one of my barn vlogs was filmed with this GoPro and the video that I posted of the trail ride that I went on was filmed with my GoPro as well. The last item um, is actually one of my favorite items and I'm so sad that I haven't been able to use it. So the story behind this is on Wednesday, December 6th, I had a lesson, was my last lesson. Um, and I, on the way home, I stopped at Dover because my barn, Dover's on the way home from my barn, which is, you know, very bad for my wallet. But anyway, I stopped the Dover because I wanted to get some special treats for the horse that I ride because he's an off-the-track thoroughbred and, of course, all off-the-track thoroughbreds celebrate their birthday on January 1st. So I wanted to get some special treats for him. So I went to Dover and I had a good idea of what I was going to get. And um, so I went to Dover and I bought some treats and I came home and promptly tripped on my dog's tennis ball and sprained my ankle very severely. So I've been out of commission for a month now and these treats have just been sitting in my trunk. Um, they are the Snacks Fifth Avenue Pony Donuts. They're freaking adorable. Um, they were very expensive. They were almost $30, which is way more than I would ever spend for a treat. But, you know, they're for a special occasion. And I really hope I get to use them and I don't waste them. Because, you know, 30 bucks is a lot to waste, in my opinion. Um, so, yes, that is it for my Christmas slash November, December cat haul. Um, I will be filming another Christmas haul with non-horsey items. So keep your eyes out for that. That will be posted on this channel because I don't have a second channel. I haven't really felt the need for a second channel. But I just have some items that I wanted to share with you guys. So I'm going to do that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And let me know if you have any video suggestions for me. I'm looking for suggestions. Um, at this point, I'm not really able to film barn vlogs. Um, just because of certain, well, the barn I'm riding at, I haven't been there very long, so I'm not 100% comfortable with the trainer and the people there. Uh, I don't really know anyone yet, so I just would feel very, very uncomfortable barn vlogging at the barn that I'm at right now. 
because it's that it's a it's a very nice barn and I don't know I just feel awkward about doing it um once I'm more settled in there I will certainly try to do some barn vlogs because I love watching those so we'll see how that goes anyway happy new year thanks for watching I hope you all had a very merry Christmas or happy holiday whichever you celebrate uh, thanks for watching bye